it's blog season. Have your favorite podcasters started blogging? Mine have, so I've been watching a lot of like the daily, weekly kind of vlogs lately because a lot of them have been coming out. I think, I think late autumn and winter is definitely the season when people start vlogging and it's awesome and I love it. Uh, so I guess I'm doing one. I don't know. This is how usually, this is how my vlogs usually start. I like decide in the moment, I'm just going to film something right now, see what happens. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, I just finished watching the Cozy Cardigans week vlog and, uh, I really enjoyed it. If you haven't checked out Cozy Cardigans, I think you should. It's great. Um, and then Woolen Forest did a vlog recently as did, uh, Wooly Mammoth, uh, and some other ones. Uh, Little Taylor S has been doing them. Little Drops of Wonderful has been doing them. Um, I can't, that's what I can think of off the top of my head right now, but there have been more. There are lots of really great ones to choose from, so uh, I've been enjoying those. Right now, I have been knitting on my Mazzy cardigan during Lucy's nap. <laughs> she did not fall asleep. She's in there right now, um, standing up and playing with her bunny. It's just about time to go in and get her and give up on this nap that failed. She hasn't been taking naps lately. Like she's, she's almost two and a half and she goes down for a nap every day. Uh, and for a long time, she was great at napping. She would fall asleep, sleep for an hour. It was great. Uh, but probably the past month or so, she's like, nope, not going to fall asleep. So that's where we're at and it's fine she gets a little sensitive and tired by the end of the day but she falls asleep really easily at night um so that's where i'm at right now come here you can do it squirrel's here she has a hard time jumping because she's very old so I'm almost done with my Mazzy. I joined the sleeves to the body and I'm working on the raglan decreases right now. Uh, I definitely messed up a little bit and kind of fixed it, you know, I fudged it. And it's going good, I can't wait till it's done. I am drinking out of my wonderful mug by Polly Studios. Uh, they're at Stitches every year some turmeric cocoa so i'll put the brand and everything down here i forget offhand but it's really good it comes in a powder and it's turmeric powder just with like cocoa powder i think and you mix it with warm milk and i like to put a little bit of honey in it which is not typical for me i don't usually sweeten things but it's pretty good i also have a turmeric chai one that i haven't opened and it's also not only vlog season but it's tea season i definitely find that this time of year, I start craving tea, teas and herbal teas. And the rest of the year, I'm straight up coffee every day, but now I'm starting to get into the teas. So I gotta go get my daughter. Uh, but that's all for now. We'll see if I film more and if you ever end up seeing this. Okay, bye. Squirrel, squirrel, say bye. Okay, you gotta go. I gotta get up. You gotta go. Get down. You gotta...
verses of their life. Yeah, we can teach them. Data, it's data. I pull out my emergency like, take a bite. Another dump, more pizza. Another dump. Good morning. It is Friday morning today. Lucy is at her grandparents' house. I just dropped her off over there. Today I'm going to be working on Moonstone Dye Works stuff. So that means I'm going to be sewing a whole bunch of bags and I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be pretty fun. I do really enjoy sewing bags, uh, more so than sewing clothes, which I haven't done in a really long time. But uh, I've got a bunch of fabric right here that I have already cut out and that is kind of ready to go. I got the liner, the main fabric, and the contrasting fabric kind of all organized. Um, so just a little sneak peek. Here's one of the fabrics that I'm doing bags with. It's a red and white floral. And then here is one of the Gasly's Christmas prints. I've also got some of this mock fabric. So that is all going to be happening today. Me and my Janome, which is right here. Before I get started sewing though, I want to tell you about a mistake that I found in my Mazzy cardigan. So I was knitting on it last night. I attached the sleeves to the body and have been doing the raglan decreases right here. And I got to a point where it gives you stitch counts for the back, fronts, and sleeves. Uh, the back and the front sleeve count was fine. No, the back and the sleeve sleeve count was stitch count was fine. But the front stitch count, which is from here to here, was off. One of the panels had one less stitch and the other panel on the other side had one extra stitch. So I think what happened is when I initially did my bind off, so when I just had the body on the needles, you on the last row bind off a few stitches for each armpit. And I think I must have counted wrong at that point because overall I have the correct stitch count. It's just all shifted one stitch that way. So that's a bummer. That means my front panels if in the finished object are just going to be slightly different sizes. Unless I rip back all of these rows right here, detach the sleeves, redo this last slight bind off row, and then reattach the sleeves and knit this over again. Uh, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> the knitting on these few rows is pretty annoying and difficult for me because I don't know if you've done a bottom up sweater where you attach the sleeves like this, but when you're knitting across the sleeve stitches for the first few rows of this attachment, it's really finagly and really difficult and you kind of end up having to do like a kind of a faux uh, magic loop kind of thing with your uh, cable to get through it because this section right here just doesn't allow you enough room to knit across those stitches nicely. Anyway, that's confusing, but I don't really want to knit those again. So I'm considering just fudging it and as I continue on with my decreases, you know, skipping a decrease on one side and doing an extra decrease on the other side, which would make my raglan shoulder area correct but it would still mean that the stitches below that in the fronts of my sweater would be a teeny bit off. 
I don't know if that's going to be a big deal, but we'll see. I haven't decided yet. I kind of put it down after figuring out that I had done that. I haven't picked it up since. That was last night, so I don't know. We'll see. It's fine. It's going to be fine. I'm probably just going to fudge it and it'll be fine. But she's still almost done. All right, it's quite a while later. I've done a lot of sewing, a lot of sewing. I ran out of thread, which was a good stopping point for the day because it was hours that I was sewing for. I'm gonna have to go down to my local fabric shop probably sometime in the next couple days to get more thread. And uh, what I'm doing right now is watching podcasts. I just finished the new Chevy Rills Stuff podcast. And now I'm on to Once Upon a Party, which I think was like, just released. Am I the first? Am I among the first viewers? I don't know who cares. But what I'm doing while I'm watching that is I, I'm working on a project. I've decided to take my leftovers bin and take all of the biggest cakes of leftovers and rescan them and wash them and just store them like that instead of in huge cakes. Now there are a lot of really teeny like super scraps that I'm not doing this with but the bigger scraps I'm doing it with. Uh, and I just pretty much finished my non-fingering weight bin. I've got, here I'll show you. I've got all this that I've done. A lot of this is Brooklyn Tweed. Um, there's some Jill Draper Make stuff. See, the thing is, is that a lot of this stuff is the entire skein. Like this Jill Draper Make stuff, I started a project with it, never actually completed it. So it's the entire skein, it was just caked up. Um, same for like this purple one. This was a skein of yarn that I won from a local yarn shop a long time ago and it came to me as a cake and I've never used it. Um, so there's a lot of stuff in here that are actually full skeins. So that is probably about half of what I've done, the other half I did the other night and have already washed, so now those are drying. So I've got one more skein to do, and it's some leftover hand spun from my from a few different projects. I knit, I use this as a contrasting color for my arachna sweater, which is still unfinished, but I'm all done with the color work portion, which was what I used this for. And I have a whole nother skein of this in my hand spun stash, and I want to kind of skein it back up and put it back with that. I also used it in a weaving project, and I don't know what else, but. Uh, so I'm gonna finish up winding my last cake now, and then wash all of this. And 
the other night I had done about half of my yarn and I did it on Nitty Naughty by hand because I was doing it in the living room and it was very slow and very tedious and today I decided to do it on my Swift which is right here and it's so much faster. Now it's just a regular like tabletop Swift. It's not a skein winder so it doesn't have like a handle or anything to crank it from that end but I think I'm going to kind of show you how I'm doing it and it works it's a little like it's a bit of an arm workout my arm is my muscles are a little sore up here but it works so much better and it's so much faster this exact stitch that I did on the seams and then after I figured out that I'm over inserting everything just to keep the bulk down and so they lay nice and flat it is a very fun like line that wraps around So much better. It's just gonna store so much better. I mean, I had this stuff all in cakes, all in a bin, and like the lid wasn't wouldn't close because there was so much stuff in it, and they're just gonna fit so much better in the bin now that they're like this. And I think they're gonna store better. And they say you're not supposed to store things in cakes anyway, so I'm pretty excited. Pretty excited. There's a lot of really nice yarn that I have leftovers of, and like I said, things that I just have never actually used. <sighs> I feel like I'm getting like new stash. This is great. This is great. I'm gonna go wash it now. So after it's done getting soaked, I'm going to spin it in my spin dryer. This is what I use for work, for spin drying my yarn. It's a Nina Swift. No, I'm sorry. It's a Nina Soft. And it's such a great tool for getting all the water out of yarn before you actually hang it to dry. It's amazing. No more wringing. It dries so much faster. I've had this for a pretty long time and it was like a hundred bucks and so totally worth it. So this is the first batch that I did and it's all ready to go. I'm going to re-skein all this now, just twist it up and put it back in my bin. I've got most of, most of this yarn actually are either full skeins or close to full skeins of Brooklyn Tweed and Harrisville Designs. So this is Harrisville Designs Highland. It's leftovers from my Stroker cardigan. Um, this is 
Barrett Wolko Home, which is leftovers from my Ramona cardigan. This is another full skein. This is, ooh, what's it called? Imperial Yarns. And it's a full skein. Again, something that I won from that same local yarn shop a long time ago and just never used. So this is a full 100 gram skein of Aran White yarn. And then this is Cascade 220. Sorry, <laughs> this is Cascade 220. This is, um, oh gosh, it's like some of my favorite yarn ever. And I'm blanking on the mill right now, but it's <sighs> New Mexico Organic Merino is the name of like the yarn itself. But the mill is, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen, I forget, but I made my Salal cardigan out of this and I love this yarn so much. And then this is some more Harrisville Designs Highland. This is, I forget what that is, actually. I made a cowl out of this a very long time ago. It's like a worsted weight. This is all non-superwash yarn. I think I hardly have any superwash beyond fingering um, in like my leftovers and stuff. Harrisville Designs and Brooklyn Tweed Shelter. And this is a full skein too. So I'm pretty excited about this. I think, I don't know. I don't know why this is exciting to me, but it is. Uh, behold our wood rack. This is just the indoor wood rack. We got a quart of wood a few months ago, stacked it all. And then we have a whole nother rack about probably six times the width of this outside. It's all along the side of our house. So we are set for the winter. Should we continue on with the very weird garage tour we're doing? I have, I have some hand knits hanging up to dry up here. Uh, so I always hand wash my hand knit uh, sweaters. I always machine wash my socks and air, air dry, but sweaters, whether or not they're super wash or not, I always hand wash them. So this is my stroker. I just wore this the other day. This is my weekender. I just wore this the other day too. This is my party top and this is my ranunculus. And these are all dry now. I just have to take them in. But uh, yeah, I just washed them in a bucket. Like you saw me wash my yarn with some soap. What I have now is tuft woolens. I don't know what scent it is, but it's nice. And then I wring them out and hang them to dry like this.